Hi, it's Mark for Ableton Daily. Punching in and punching out while playing back in Ableton Live. This is useful for protecting the parts of a track that you do not want to record over. And it also allows you to set up a pre-roll or warm-up time. The punch in point is identical to the arrangement's loop start position right here. And the punch out point is identical to the loops in position right here. This is also very useful when, let's say, you have a vocalist that has recorded a vocal track. And the vocalist wants to re-record only a small section of that track. Well, you can have them punch in at bar 15 and live will start recording at bar 15. And you can also set a punch out point at bar 19. So live will stop recording at bar 19 and continue to play. To turn on punch in and punch out, it's right up here on the control bar. Just turn on these buttons right here and they will light up yellow. If you don't have a punch out button activated, live will start to record at the punch in point and continue to record until you stop the project. So for now, I'll make sure that punch in and punch out are both turned on. For this example, I have a eight bar drum loop and I also have a four bar bass line, but we want to extend this bass line another four bars. That way we have a nice and even eight bar loop. So I'll make sure that I have my loop start position at bar 15, since that's where the bass line ends. And then, so we're telling live that we want to start recording here at bar 15. And we want to stop recording when we get to bar 19. So I'll just set the loop in position to bar 19. All right, I think we're ready to go. I'll just go ahead and click just before these two clips on the timeline there. So we get the blinking cursor that just tells live that this is where we want to start playing back. And before I start recording, make sure to have the record button turned on and then go ahead and press on play. Here we go. Alright, look what we have here. We have this nice four bar recorded part and you can see that live continues to play but it's not recording anymore because it's punched out. So I can go ahead and just stop the project. And let's go ahead and listen to it back. Another thing you can do is turn on the loop button while you're punching in and punching out. This will make live play back the part that you just recorded. So as soon as it reaches the punch out point, it will loop back to the punch in point. This way you can listen to you, what you just recorded besides, you know, stopping the project and then, uh, you know, setting the cursor to play back at a certain point. It will just loop back and back and forth automatically. I hope you find this helpful. My name's Mark. This is Ableton Daily. Uh, if you like the videos, please subscribe, send me a comment, and I'll get back to you. And we'll see you on the next one. Take care.